General Hospital's Valerie teases that after Dex Heller returned to town, Dex had a plan of his own. That was when Dex wanted to become a police official. Of course, on the surface, Dex seems to miss Jocelyn's Jack. So, becoming a police official was to prove that Jocelyn, that Dex, really wanted to change. But, in reality, Dex doesn't love Jocelyn that much. And Dex being a police official is not because of Jocelyn. The real reason is because Dex wants to prove his loyalty to his boss. Sonny Corrento. Fans know that Dex wants to talk to Anna Devin, thereby Dex intentionally reviewed a few missions that Sonny assigned to Dex before, and one of them was the mission to kill Sarah's Renault. But because it was close to the time to carry out the order, Sonny canceled the plan. So Cyrus was lucky to escape death. Dex was also found not guilty of murder and had to go to jail. And Cyrus' injury did not affect Cyrus' life. So in the past, both Sonny and Dex were lucky to get away with murder. More importantly, what Dex said had no concrete evidence. So, Dex told Anna that. The reason is that Dex wants Anna to misunderstand that Dex really wants to change. And at the same time, Dex shows hatred for Sonny and no longer wants to return to the current organization. From there, Dex can gain Anna's trust, making it easier for Dex to become a police official. Because Dex understands that most people do not support Dex as being a police official. No one can be sure that a person who was once a dangerous criminal has now become a police official. And now, Dex can only approach one target, Anna. In the end, Dex's effort paid off because Anna believed that Dex had truly changed. Anna then tries to get Dex into the ranks of the PCPJ. This is also the time when Dex's true personality is reviewed. Dex tries to blend in and remember PCPJ's confidential information and provide it to Sonny. This is understandable because Dex respects Sonny's very much, so Dex wants to do this to atone for his mistake and regain what Sonny trust, even though Dex knew this would be difficult. Dex vowed not to give up. Meanwhile, Dex's ex-girlfriend Jocelyn broke up with Dex. Because Jocelyn broke up with Dex because Dex followed Sonny's order to kill people. But fans all know that Jocelyn loved Dex when Dex was also a henchman. So how could a mob boss henchman no, not commit a crime? Or have you ever plotted to kill people? Dex followed his boss and Dex was innocent. If anything, the only mistake was that Dex worked for as Sonny's henchman. So after Jocelyn ended with Dex, Jocelyn considered continuing her love with another man that fans did not know yet. Dex has not been Sonny's henchman for the past two years because before Dex became Sonny's close henchman, there was Jason Morgan. When Dex worked under Sonny, Jason committed many times more crime than Dex. But Jocelyn, at that time, 
never blame or show contempt for Jason and Sonny. On the contrary, when Jason was thought to have died in a ton of collapse in the past, Jax does everything only for Sonny's benefit. If Jocelyn forgives Jax, Jax probably has no intention of getting back together with Jocelyn, because Jax has gradually lost feeling for Jocelyn. When Jocelyn continuously blame and did not support what Jax did, Jax even believed that Jocelyn was someone who easily changed after feeling bored with her boyfriend, Cameron Webber. Only when Jax returned to single status will Jax have time to prove his ability to Sonny. And Jax was successful because next time Jax proved that he could protect Sonny. And finally, Jax had enough confidence to stand next to Jason, who is said to be Sonny's most talented protector. Both Jax and Jason may become Sonny's effective henchmen in the near future.